Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and uh, like I said in missions uh, at Security Override, I'm going to do, or did I do Hack the Site? No, the Hack the Site mission went back box. Uh, I'm going to do the tools in Black Boon 2 and missions from now on in back box. Um, that's easier for me and easier for you because back Black Boon 2 has a lot more tools than back box, so it kind of makes sense. Um, we're going to start with. Uh, one reconnaissance tool and a query and we've already kind of seen that in the security override missions but let's just start so we go to pen test information gathering and we're gonna skip archive for now so just keep that in your mind going to DNS I'm going to do a uh, Dimitri so and I forgot something. I'm going to run this one because it makes it easier for me so, and for you. So now I have two terminals, but um, yeah, just never mind me. My strange, strange ways. So it's uh, Dimitri, and then uh, O is the output to wherever you want it to be saved to. So uh, in this case, um, just uh, DNS dot spoonvet dot org and we'll do a W because that's a um, who is lookup of the domain we'll do a netcraft we'll do a subdomain and we'll do a email address and we'll leave the port scanning for another day I'm not gonna do that right now and yeah, so we're just gonna run it. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> you need to specify your host because otherwise it won't do anything. So go. So there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So this is the who is query. So uh, you cannot see any vital information for me because I've done a private registration except that I am with GoDaddy but uh, yeah that doesn't make it any uh, more special and the hostcare.com you could basically find out which hosting I have but you know this is information free to everybody so uh, and this is the IP address of my site which you also get with a ping command I know so that's uh, using Dimitri. Uh, it will get you give you a lot of info in one go. Um, it's not the like the best tool to use for this, but it will give you a broad sense of like what's going on. So uh, we can also use it to do a DNS of um, uh, nsa.gov, for example, and we'll save that to nsa.gov. Oh, I did NS. No, <laughs> NSA. So let's see. Um, so no netcraft. Do, 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 do. All right. So um, we got a host IP and a host name, and that's it for the. Uh, uh, no, sorry. We got a domain name and an active. That's it for the who is information. So that's pretty cool, actually. Um, that the NSA.gov and also FBI and CIA have like no information whatsoever uh, in their who is registration that's that's pretty cool uh, one possible subdomain it's www but that's you know a normal subdomain uh, I don't have that on me and we've got one like one email address in one go that's that's pretty cool uh, and let's try that same one on the Dutch version of this so let's go there and I hear the kettle boiling so I'm gonna pause for one second so alright um sorry I had to put that out put the gas off so here we can see the IP address um, here we don't have any who is why don't we have any who is because this who is query does only um, well factually do stuff in the United States 
because you have different organizations registering different stuff for who is. So you have RIPE and you have uh, God knows what else. Uh, I forgot them all. Anak is I think one, but you have like five regions or something, and um, the U.S. is handled by a different one. And here we have the www and www. Uh, well, this is year report. Uh, this one. Why are subdomains so uh, important? Well, first of all, here we can see it has a different IP, but it's probably located on the same server. Uh, in this case, no, it's not because it has a 232 instead of a 230. So we know that this one and this one are two different servers. But if we do something to this one, maybe we can get to that one. So uh, that's why subdomains are important. A lot of people forget that uh, their subdomains are also on the same server. And if they are vulnerable, the rest is vulnerable because you can get in via that way. So let's learn our other query, which we used already, which is who is and then whatever your domain name is. So this is who is, and this goes very fast, of course. But here we can see it's active, but who's the registrar? Something in uh, Eindhoven, um, and these are name servers. So this is giving us a physical location to where we can go if we so wish. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go there, and I'm not starting. But this information is free to everybody. Um, so yeah, so you know, take care of your who is registration, and now comes the the, the best part. What if you're a business? So, um, you know, what if you're a Facebook or what if you are a Twitter? But also, what if you are a Coca Cola or uh, a TV network? You know, do you need a physical address then in your who is? You know, yeah, you might have a physical address in there. Uh, I don't know what this will do because I've never run this before, but let's see what this does. And it gives us a physical address with a name even, so that's pretty cool. And here you have a lot of CNS, CNN.com, uh, more info at beyondwhois.com, and owned by Gully. So they, yeah, what they did is they did some whois uh, stuff. If you whoisgoogle.com, that's something you can do on your own. You laugh at the amount, insane amount of uh, domain names that you get. Server name, blah 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 blah. Server name, blah blah blah. That's pretty, pretty funny. Um. So yeah, uh, will we do be doing that? I'm not really sure yet. Might do it. Might not do it. To get our name somewhere in there. Um, and here you can see some uh, name service that's also so sometimes very important or handy to know. Um, that's it for our uh, first video. I'm gonna do the tools per video so uh, it's easier for you to search and it's easier for me to maintain because uh, if I do a lot of tools in one go it will not be you know, like correct or, or it will be a mess. Um, one thing I will handle from this to wrap this up is netcraft.com. Why is that in there? Uh, well, if we go to our awesome internet and we go to that place, which is Netcraft, because I'm not really sure if it's .com. Yeah, that's .com. All right. So um, we're going to do I don't know FBI.gov. Well, here you can see. We have unknown OSs, but that's not what I want actually. That's not what I want. Where is that thing? I think it's uptime.netcraft.com. Yeah. So, hmm. 
Yeah, normally what they would do is give you a how long it's been up, like uh, I don't know, quite sure. Here we go. So here's the OS on 3rd of February. That was my cat just. And this is the owner. Um, but you know, you can. Yeah, so let's update it. It was running that one. But you cannot. No, update it. Uptime is available. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Because normally you could see here how long well, the site was been running. So here they have not been graphed yet. Uh, Microsoft.com then. Is that one in there? Yeah, here you can see that. That's the one I want. So here you can see uh, like uh, what they were running and time since reboot. So that's pretty awesome to see how long has a site been online and whatnot and they are still now they're running an unknown OS it says uh, but we will be delving into this OS detecting and server detecting system uh, much much later but just so you know that why netcraft is in there but a lot of time they don't work anymore so uh, in Dimitri you can actually just uh, leave out the dot or tag n or dash n uh, that's it for uh, our Dimitri who is and our a little bit about Deathcraft. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time for more tools.